Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. My name's Daz. I hope you guys are all well. What I want to do here is just run you through a quick issue that I found with my Houston Fell Pro pedals and my Fanatec DD2 direct drive wheel. What I found was when I was using the, uh, the pedals, when I moved the steering wheel, as you can see here, on the bottom left of the telemetry data, you'll see that I'm actually getting some feedback or interference in the accelerator and the brake as I move the steering. Now, looking at the raw data within the DI view, which is what you use for the Houston Spell Pros, um, I've got it set so that the, the black bit is basically what's being read by the game, uh, the black number. So I've got it set so it's not actually being activated, but because there is interference going through, it is still activating uh, in the game. So what this basically means is if I'm in like something like NASCAR, I'm on an oval and I'm turning left, as I'm turning left, basically the game is breaking for me, or the, the pedals are being interfered so that it thinks I'm braking slightly. Now it's not much, it's only a tiny little bit, but when you're up at 200 miles an hour and you're slightly braking, that's slowing you down and obviously that means that you're not going to be winning races or keeping up with the pack. Um, so this is a slight issue that I found and it's actually a really quick simple fix to actually get around it. So what you basically need to do is ground the pedals. Now Husenfeld sell a grounding kit if you want to buy it from them. Um, pedals normally come with them as well, they say, um, on their website, but because I bought these second hand, I didn't have that grinding kit, so I just needed uh, to be able to grind them. So the quick and easy way was obviously to go to Houston Bell and get them to send me the grinding cable, but that could take a while, especially with what's going on in the world at the moment. So I actually went to Amazon and just bought a Molex cable. So if you go to the Houston Veld uh, website, and I'll try and remember to link it down below, um, you can actually see how you do this, and it's a very simple fix. All you need is a Molex cable, and then you just grind that onto the pedal, and they actually show you where to grind that as well for best use or best practice. So what I've done is I've, now this is the next day, I've now got the, uh, the cable, so you can see a red and black cable that's now attached to the pedals. And I'm gonna zoom in, I'll show you what I've actually done. So what I've done is I've added a washer, and I've, essentially just clamped a exposed part of the wire onto the metal frame of the, uh, the pedals. Now this is normally an issue just on the brake, so you can just see there um, that I've added it and I'm just going to kind of point to it with my finger. I've just added a metal, uh, a metal washer and I've just then put the cable on it. This is only normally an issue with the brake, but I was also having an issue with the accelerator, so I got a Molex cable that had two parts, so a red and a black. So what I've ended up doing is I've grinded both, cable, uh, both accelerator and brake for it to be in an easy way of making sure that there's no issue with either of, the, either of the pedals. So when you plug that into the Houston Fell Pro box, um, basically you plug it into the, the top row there, so the left hand row of the um, the pins, that is your grinding pins. Um, now what I've done is I've just wrapped a bit of electrical tape just to make sure that the contacts on the bottom don't touch. There's an exposed part of the Molex cable so I just didn't want it to touch, so I just made sure it doesn't. So I've just wrapped it so it doesn't make sure it doesn't touch and there isn't any um, feedback issues on that way. But if I now uh, jump in, what you'll see is basically um, it works. It's a very simple and easy fix. All I've done is I've recalibrated in the eye view just in case there was any differentials between it being grounded and not being grounded. I've done that. And then I've also recalibrated them within the game. But what you can see is basically that worked. It was a very quick and easy fix. It probably took me about 20 minutes to plug in and, and to get set up. Um, but now that's gonna help me in the games and obviously not be an issue. What I also did is I added some rubber washers um, on both sides of the, uh, the, the, the screw to make sure that there's no um, just to make sure there's no metal contact as well on the bottom of the base in case there is any uh, static within the rig but yeah that's just a quick video so I want to show you what I did to get rid of random my issue that I had with the electrical magnetic interference um, thanks again guys for watching I hope this has helped and I'll see you on the next one thanks bye bye